the, the purpose, as you would have probably guessed, has to do with developing oracy, oracy skills and also the confidence uh, needed to speak in front of a public, uh, but also argumentation skills, critical thinking, um, and, and, and having an understanding of how communication works. And the reason why I wanted to do this was is because I think these are critical 21st century skills that, that are absolutely necessary for the current generation in, in the future. Um, and I think we need to have a, a concentrated effort to develop these skills because this is, it's like, it's no longer something that would be nice to do, but it's essential. It's something that, that students, current students need in order to be successful. Service aspect to the course where um, we can help other students who are not part of the course with their presentations, with their speeches, um, with, with their with their speaking skills. It's something that emerged this year. It's something that I had not originally envisioned. Um, our next goal is going to be to, to see how we can use the skills that, that, that we've been developing um, in already existing structures in the school and how we can make um, a, a lasting impact be it through supporting students, be it through engaging in other activities. But this is where we are right now. We have a group project that, that we are starting right now and uh, we will be hopefully, um, we'll be hopefully ready with it um, by project week. At Atlantic College, we should have a, a course that's focused on the marine environment. Um, so that's the genesis of ocean systems and coastal management. We're genuinely trying to expose students to a whole array of skills that they would encounter within while studying this sort of environment. And what we've been getting the students to work on is instead of being formal in terms of any kind of assessment, because the, most of the work is project-based, is trying to get them to produce a digital portfolio that catalogues their own and collective experience. So for example, um, one thing that's key for me is I mentioned very briefly at the start that it's genuinely multidisciplinary. I think the other important thing is that we, we don't shy away from the fundamental skills that they need to tackle the problem that we're investigating students use the creativity to find the pathway through the problem that they're happy with but don't get to just do the bits that is their skill set so at some point throughout the course every student should be taken out of their comfort zone to tackle it on a global level that's the stance we're taking so in the first unit we looked at conflict and how psychology affect that and now we started the second unit where we're going to focus on peace and how to create peace in our community yeah we, we really dove a bit deeper into psychology this term and it's been great fun um, we're looking at sort of fundamental questions like you know is it is it something that we've evolved to do to, for instance, categorize ourselves and others into groups? And if it is something that we can't get rid of because our brains are hardwired to do it, how do we how do we mitigate the adverse effects of that dynamic while actually, you know, working with our our minds and our collective uh, identities in order in order in order to find peaceful solutions? So Instead of seeing the IB as okay. I'm in UWC and it's really important the academic side of course because we also need to be preparing that but if when we're preparing academically we can also be living the UWC values that would be amazing and I really think that these courses might achieve that.